I'm sure you've heard more than once how customizable VS Code is. You can make it look uh, in very different ways. So the theme that I use is Eva theme. Here it is. It looks amazing. However, I have some gripes with some of the colors it uses. And also, I wanted to add more colors. So currently you're looking at some auto hotkey v2 code and it doesn't look this way by default i actually changed a bunch of stuff stuff like this super being pink uh true and false being brown and uh, punctuation being red those were my decisions they are not the themes ex uh, decision and you will find colors being kind of ass or lackluster, especially if you're working with lesser known languages. If you're using like Python, for example, or C Sharp maybe even, stuff like that will probably look fine, but to me it wasn't enough. So today I will teach you how to color your own code. So in your settings.json, uh, in in case you don't know how to get there, you basically go settings, JSON, and uh, go to user settings. I have a hotkey for that, and I recommend having it because it's very useful uh, being able to get there easily. So here you are. Editor dots talking color customizations is what you're looking for. Then there's an object, text made rules, rather an array and in here you actually start doing stuff so it's an array of objects <clears throat> each object is a color well it has the settings object so foreground is actually how this looks the foreground the actual color and then font style which is multiple different things it has italic bold strike through underline as you can see these are the options that you can have and you can combine them apparently i didn't know you could so here's this settings object name you don't have to have it matter of fact this is just something that i made it's just essentially a comment like what is this so i named this function blue uh, to be able to search for it easily not required at all and now scope the thing that you actually want most it's an array of what is this well let's have a look currently we're on this uh, type in token oh and by the way um, you have to press Control shift b to open this window where you can type in your commands and it's probably the most useful hotkey for you to remember however i personally changed it to shift alt b because it feels nicer to me nevertheless you type in token and go inspect inspect editor tokens and scopes boom and you have this window which is what you want uh, and as you can see it actually specifies the settings object for this current thing that you just clicked. You don't have to reappear this window because you can just click at things and it will appear the correct information for it. What you want is to copy the foreground. So in this case, it's variable language this.hk2. And well, uh, I actually already have this changed, which as, which, as I said, uh, this isn't pink by default and actually let's see what it is pink I guess still well nevertheless oh it's because I already changed it there as well so twice even yeah it's a bit of a mess yeah by default it's this uh, extreme I would say color which I don't quite like so I changed it. Essentially what you do is add this, what you copied uh, 
from this window. So take this, copy it, and paste it uh, in quotes. Remember the commas. JSON cares about commas a lot. And here you go, basically. For every different color or font style, you create a new object. Uh, put the scope that you want to change the color or font style of, and here you go. So it's either, yeah, I actually don't like how comments are usually italic, at least in my theme, so I just made a blank object with no font style. So my comments are not italic, so you can change the defaults as well. Okay, that's essentially all you need to know to change your colors to whatever you feel like. If the extension you're using for the language is, I guess, good enough, there will be these, I guess, classes uh, for the code thing. So in this case, it's a function. Uh, here, it's a constant language.hk, whatever. Uh, some things won't be different. For example, in some languages, an object is the same as a variable, so you won't be able to change the color of the object. However, uh, in the extension I'm using for HKV2, that is different. Or rather, it wasn't. I asked for it, and my pull request got accepted. Nevertheless, some things won't be some things you won't be able to change, but most you will. All right, if you found this video useful, you can leave a like, definitely subscribe to see more VS Code, Vim, and HKV2 content. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.